But I did just finally get in my very first White Fox order. This is literally like an extra four inches. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break an ankle doing this. But I have been desperately wanting their oatmeal bowls, so I got two of these. That is insane. I think I just made you look tanner. I don't, I so just a preview of Michelle and Cabo. These are the ones, post these. <laughs> That's them. Me, did you get it? <laughs> friends are what do i do why is it so hard to find someone new so far away all the days that i used to have someone right beside me now i can find in my phone screen it's tiring just wanna feel something lonely nights talking the pixels i don't go out don't intermix with the crowd Connection is that so all to ask for? I just want something that's real, that's alive. Don't want no white noise on the other line. I just want a connection. Is that so all to ask for? I just want something that's real, that's alive. Don't want no phone steady, phone steady gone. Good evening. Yeah. It's evening. It's definitely not afternoon. I think it's like 6.30 or something. Yep, it's 6.30. So good evening, you guys. I've had a very, very busy day. Just basically go, go, go all freaking day long. And I just got home. Finally took a shower. I feel so freaking refreshed. And I'm very much looking forward to a relaxing night in with Spartacus. We actually have the house to ourselves this weekend because Trevor is visiting his sister and brother-in-law in Arizona. And as much as I would love to have gone, but just with three different bachelorette trips, plus traveling for two of the weddings, I was like, you know, I'm gonna opt to stay home on this one, especially because Cabo's coming up in like three weeks. And the thought of the international travel just it, it's stressing me out from everything that i'm seeing i'm so so stressed <laughs> thinking about how it's gonna be i mean the main thing that i think about throughout the day right now is how i'm gonna be able to fit everything into just a carry-on because i am not a compact packer at all i bring way too much stuff partially out of just being an overpacker and also because obviously me gonna be doing content in cabo so i need to bring electronics i need to bring my laptop i need to bring so much stuff so Anyways, I'm a little bit stressed about that trip. So I just didn't want to stress myself out with having to deal with another trip right before Cabo after having just taken a trip to San Diego. So I'm home by myself this weekend. I will actually be seeing Michelle tomorrow, going over to her place for anybody who watched like the last couple of vlogs. We're gonna shoot and then we're gonna do a pool day, which I'm really excited about. No, her pool did not open back up, but she just found out that she can access the pool at a nearby complex that the company that owns her complex also owns. So they said that her key should work at that pool as well. So we are gonna have ourselves a little pool day. But I did just finally get in my very first White Fox order i ordered this on july 5th it is july 29 i'm really irritated with the shipping on this it should have come to me in like a week and a half and it's what is this four weeks now this sat in chicago for a full week i don't even understand why but i finally got it these were like the last pieces that i was waiting on for cabo lots of cabo stuff going on i mean tomorrow even like that cool day is to like well it's for michelle to get started on her base tan <laughs> She needs to get a base hand going before Cabo or she's gonna roast in the Mexican sun But we all know that I've been working on my base tan. I'm super tan right now So God knows what I'm gonna look like getting back from Cabo But anyways, let me show you guys What I got what I purchased Three or four weeks ago. That's finally here. All of this stuff better look amazing <laughs> on me for how long this took. I will say I'm not gonna try on everything in this video because I will have a Cabo haul slash styling outfits for Cabo like dedicated video coming up in a couple weeks. Oh my god. Yeah, it's gonna be a couple weeks because Cabo's in like three weeks. It's it's coming so fast. I'm so excited. Like don't get me wrong. Like I know that I seem really stressed and stuff about it. Like I'm super super excited. It's just all the travel stuff is just making me crazy, so I'm I'm just nervous. But anyways, okay, the first 
item I was thinking for travel day. It's this nude crop top. And what I like is that it's like beveled here at the bottom. So it comes up a little bit, but the material feels really nice. It feels like super good quality. Like I said, I've never ordered from White Fox before. So I'm actually really impressed. This feels like something that you would get from like a really nice brand so that is the first item i was thinking of doing this with track pants or biker shorts i haven't fully decided or i might wear this on the way back and then there's like a romper that i was thinking of wearing but we'll see how i feel next up i got a bikini this is for the last day this bikini looks a little bit big did i get this in a large i got this in a medium why does this look so big like how big do they think my boobs are but anyways it's cute so it's like this blue abstract print and then I like the fact that it's like these ruffle cups and that has a little tie in the center is it functional yes it is that's a functional tie in the center and that also ties in the back so you can adjust it from both sides and then I love the fact that they have these straps on this one because I don't know why lately I just like have not been tying my tie tops very well and they keep coming off when I'm like out and about I haven't flashed anyone I can usually feel when it's loose but I just prefer this this just feels better and also I feel like regular straps as opposed to like string halters just they hold up the girls better you know but that's the top and then for the bottoms these I got on a large and these might be are these gonna be big I really don't want to have to deal with it if they are no okay no this is fine because I can tell it's a good thing that I got the large because this doesn't have a ton of give. Which way's the front? You know, I am holding it the right way. There's like a little tag in the back that looks like it would be on the front, but whatever. But here are the bottoms. Just like a pair of high cut bottoms. You guys know that's like my favorite cut for bottoms. It just, it's very flattering for me since I do have a shorter torso. I'll just pull up the sides a lot. And that like V shape is really flattering for me because it like elongates my torso. So I love these types of bottoms because then you can do that. Very like 90s cut and I'm here for it. But yeah, this is the bikini. I plan to wear this on like day three in Cabo. And then this dress was extra. I was thinking about it for like one of the theme nights, but I got a different dress that I am absolutely in love with for that theme night. So this is just for me. And actually I'm super impressed. I was really scared that was gonna be like one layer of Jersey fabric and it was gonna be like really unflattering, but this is like two layers. The fabric is so nice, but yeah, it's this like green tube dress. Love it. I'm very excited. I think that like what like worried me about it being like a one oh my god the camera's so red from this but like for those of you who know what i'm talking about like whenever you get like just a plain tube dress like this and it's just like that one layer of jersey fabric or whatever it just it doesn't shape you at all it just like kind of clings to your body in a very unflattering way if you're wearing any type of underwear or anything like it's gonna show but this is like really nice it's got the liner inside and it's this like smoother material it's not like that jersey material so this is gonna be so much more flattering so i think i'm gonna shoot this tomorrow so you guys will see this on me tomorrow i'm gonna try it on in the morning and decide then because i just i'm tired you guys i do not want to even like try any of this on but that's what i got from white fox and then actually we're just gonna do like we're gonna make this like a whole segment but i'm happy with the white box stuff like i'm really really happy i would put another order in with them again i really love everything that i got i mean obviously i haven't tried it on but it looks like everything is gonna fit me how i intended so happy with that i got in a set from the mayfair group i've always wanted stuff from them so i was really excited about this i'm sure you guys have seen this set this is the brown version. It's the one with the bears and it says be fucking kind on the front. I'm sure you guys will see me wearing this in the vlogs. And then also the matching joggers. How cute are these? And then it says be fucking kind on the leg as well. And then the bears are on the back of the leg on this one. But it's gonna be a really cute cozy set for the fall when it comes up. Although Trevor and I have been talking, we predict our fall is gonna be so hot because it's been a pretty cool summer. So we just feel like there's going to be an epic heat wave, like September or October. So <sighs> that's going to be really fun. I'm hoping we're wrong, but I really like this set because it's not fleece inside. It's just like a jersey inside. So it's not going to be too hot or anything. It's going to actually be pretty cool. So it doesn't need to get quite as cool for me to be able to wear this as a set, but I will probably be wearing both pieces separately. Just, you know, whenever I need a sweatshirt or just like whenever I want some comfy pants and then one more package i know i was super annoying last weekend when i told you guys i got in my bridesmaids dress for michelle's wedding and i couldn't show you but oh my gosh i need scissors i can show you the shoes that i got 
once I open this, they like tapes the whole thing. Eco Shoes always like tapes up their packages like crazy. There's like 20 layers of tape on here in all different directions. I appreciate the security. I really truly do. But when you're like trying to open it, it's pretty annoying. So I got three shoes in this order. All are for the intention of one wedding or another. So for the shoes for Jill and Michelle's wedding, I am set. Jill, if you're watching this, you're gonna see the shoes and they're very, very cute. I may also wear them to your bachelorette party depending on what I decide to wear. But let me see. So this first pair, I really wish that these were, I really wish that these were labeled. It says the style name, but I don't know the style names off the top of my head. Okay, these ones are the ones for Michelle's wedding. So she's getting married in like a lake area. So I didn't want to do a thin heel. And also the dress for her wedding is a midi dress. And because I am so, so short, midi dresses tend not to be the best length for me. They just make me look shorter than I am. So if I'm gonna do a midi length, I want to get as much height as possible. And because I've been a wimp lately, none of my black shoes are tall. But the caveat to that is the fact that it is a lake area, so I don't wanna do a thin heel. I don't wanna do anything that's gonna be too hard or too uncomfortable to walk in. So I actually saw these. <laughs> really? Quiet, Bubba. No, quiet. Quiet, Bubba. They made a mistake. It's okay. I think my neighbor's boyfriend just accidentally tried to open up our door instead of hers. I don't think he was paying attention, so. It's okay. It's okay. We're good. We're good. He said sorry. It's okay, we're good, we're good. He said sorry. But anyways, so here are the shoes. She wanted us to do something strappy, which is fine, and I checked with her before I decided to go chunky on like the rest of it. I have a platform in the front to give me a lot of height, and then like a really tall heel, which isn't gonna feel too bad since I have the platform. It kind of helps with that steepness, and then it flares out. So it's a thicker heel. I didn't want to do any type of stiletto or something on like the lake and stuff. So let me try this on. What size did I get? A size five. One of them I had to get a size six, so I'm like a little bit nervous because their fives fit me perfectly. Spart, are you good? He said sorry. It's okay. That is actually the second time that one of our neighbor's guests has actually tried to go into our apartment instead of the correct one. Our other neighbor on the other side, her dad actually fully came in the house and he had like a glass of wine in his hand and he realized he was in the wrong place and Spart was like ready to lunch. And he was like, oh, sorry. And like he ran out and then Trevor texted our neighbor and he was like, hey, just heads up. Some guy like, it's like walking into apartment. He's like, oh yeah, that's my girlfriend's dad. And we were like, oh, and he's like, sorry about that. Okay, these are kind of hard to get on, but they look cute. Like, okay, so just pretend that that went all the way through, but here they are. Oh, these are tall, dang. They're super tall, but they are really comfortable because of that platform. So they don't feel like, oh my gosh, super steep. I'm having trouble because I only have one on. Please note that. Like I'm on the tippy toe of my other foot, but I like it. It's cute. Like it looks cute. I like the strappiness. Let me send a picture to Michelle. Where's my phone? This is literally like an extra four inches. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break an ankle doing this. It's so hard to like do this. Should I put on a timer? Okay. Did it take? But that is shoe number one. Happy with it. That's what I needed for her wedding. And then shoe number two. <gasps> these are the ones I'm really, really excited about. Okay, these are for Jill's wedding. I would have done this for both weddings, but like I said, I can't wear a thin heel to the lake because I'm just gonna fall in everywhere. But I'm sure you guys have seen the like actual Jimmy Choo's of this style. Like everybody was wearing it for their wedding in white. Everybody was like going nuts over this. People would be wearing it for their wedding or their rehearsal or their engagement party and stuff. But Ego Shoes made a dupe in black and I was obsessed. I needed it and I will be wearing this to Jill's wedding. But here they are. Like 
Oh, I'm dead. I'm so excited for these. So it's the one with the asymmetric bow. One side has the bow on the toe and the other side has the bow, which needs to be fluffed, on the back. And I just think it's so freaking cute. I love it. But this one I did have to get in a size six, so I'm a little nervous about it. But how fucking cute are these? Okay, I'm gonna try on this side because I like the side with the bow on the back better. It's a little bit big, but I think I can deal with it. Yeah, I think if I just put in one of those pads that I got from Amazon, those like little gel pads that I got from my other friend's bachelorette party for consequently a different pair of Vigo shoes, I think it should be fine. I'm not gonna deal with strapping it all the way right now, but how cute. <gasps> you guys, I love it. I'm so glad that they had it in black. Ah, oh, I'm obsessed. Excuse you, sir. Excuse you. You're my shot. But love. Love it. Then the last pair of shoes I got just to make the shipping cost go down. These are super, super 2000s, and I'm really, really excited for them. Like, these are straight up rocket dogs. Not actual rocket dogs, but they are like rocket dog dupes and I'm super super into it and my running joke was that these are the shoes I will change into at both weddings once I'm tired of the initial shoes I got because they're flip-flops but they've still got a lot of height on them so I'm not going to be sacrificing the height by changing into these flip-flops boom back to 2005 I really love them I'm super happy about these they're very comfy. So yeah, these will be the perfect shoes to change into at both weddings so I can like get down and dance or whatever I wanna do. Anyways, that is everything that I've gotten. I have a lot to clean up now. So I will see you guys for dinner. Also the battery's flashing red, so I gotta log off. I think I'm gonna try making one of the Trader Joe's frozen pastas. Not sure which one, but we'll get to that a little bit later once I'm hungry. Poor thing has just been getting killed with fleas. I feel so bad, so I gotta some flea meds for a treat. Oh, it's a big treat. Look at that. Touch. Thank you so much. Ooh, it smells like peanut butter. There you go. Hopefully they'll stop biting you now. So for dinner, originally I was gonna do this Fiocchetti cheese filled pasta in the pink sauce. I've had this before, it's really good. This is like a staple, everyone talks about it from Trader Joe's. But I just picked this up today. This is their new Cacciao e Pepe gnocchi and I love gnocchi. I love Cacciao e Pepe. So I don't know, I don't know which one I wanna do. I, the macros on both are comparable, so that doesn't really matter, but <sighs> decisions. I think, mm, I have shrimp to go with it, and I know that the shrimp would go really, really, really good in this sauce, but I really want to try this, because this is new. Maybe. Ah, it's such a hard decision. Which one for dinner? Hmm. But I feel like I'm going to do... Ah. Okay. I'm going to do the pink sauce tonight. Maybe I'll do this later this weekend to try it. But I just know that the shrimp is going to cook up really, really nice in this. And I feel like this one will just be the better choice with that. Maybe, well, shoot. Because Sunday I was going to do shrimp with pasta at two. So either way, I'd be doing shrimp with the gnocchi. Dang it. Okay, look, you know what? Screw it. Let's do the gnocchi. Sorry, I made that very, very complicated. So kind of interesting, it doesn't come with a sauce necessarily. Like the sauce is coated around the gnocchi already. I'm just gonna cover it and just let everything steam up. So eventually the sauce kind of cooks off of the gnocchi, which is kind of cool. I've never seen anything really like that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. it's like sticking to the pan though, even though this is non-stick, but it's fine. So yeah, I just need to let it cook out for another few minutes and then should be good to go. I also have some garlic shrimp that I have cooking up over here to go with it. All right, just doing like a single serving because I'm not like super hungry. It says like one third of the bag is technically a serving. If I was hungrier, I'd probably eat two servings, but I'm not. So I'm just gonna have this for right now. And then obviously we know what's next. Parmesan galore, because I have an addiction. So yeah, 
I'm realizing it also looks like the world's tiniest serving of gnocchi because it's in such a large bowl, but all of our smaller bowls are dirty right now, so I had to put it in this. But yeah, let's try the gnocchi. Like I said, this is a new item from Trader Joe's, like for sure. I did see it on like TikTok, so I was glad my Trader Joe's had it. Oh my god. I think that this is hands down my favorite Cacciali Pepe product from them. I, I've i tried all of them. I've tried the sauce on its own. I've tried the ravioli. I've tried like the frozen Cacciali Pepe, the ones that's just like spaghetti, but the gnocchi is fire. If you're going to try one of the Cacciali Pepe stuff, get the gnocchi. It's so good. Am I turning on the right street? God, I hope so. We'll find out. Hey guys, I am on my way to run just a couple of errands before I head to Michelle's. It's all errands for both of us. For those of you who've been here like for a while, I think it was like the last time we went to LA to shoot. Not the last time we went to LA because last time we went to LA was for Universal, but was it the last time we went to LA to shoot? I can't remember. It was so long ago. We haven't been shooting in LA just because gas is so astronomically expensive. It just doesn't make sense for us to spend the gas to go to LA. But last time, I think, <laughs> we were there, whenever was the last time we were in the Burbank area, we went to a store called Goodies. And it's like a store that has like handmade ceramics and home decor. And we loved it. I mean, that's where all of my plates are that you guys see. Not the square ones, but all the round ones that kind of have like that edge that comes up. Well, they opened a store here in Costa Mesa, just like 10 minutes away from me. So I'm going to go check it out. Michelle, unfortunately, lost the chopsticks that she got from there and she really, really loved them. So I told her I'd go ahead and pick those up for her. And also, since it's like on the way and over by goodies, I'm stopping by Crumble <laughs> and we're getting some cookies, although we are very disappointed with this week's selection but you know whatever there were like at least a couple that we wanted so we're gonna get a few so i'm picking that up for us and then while i'm in the area i put in an ulta order so i'm just gonna grab that really quick but then after that heading over to michelle's since we have pool access i'm so excited i love the fact too that i went to the beach yesterday to lay down a tan for the pool <laughs> clearly i am so into tanning if my doctor tells me that my vitamin D levels are still low, I'm gonna be so confused because like I go to the park daily and then I go to the beach every single week. But yeah, it should be a fun day. I'm so excited about the pool. I haven't had access to a pool since Trevor and I lived in Huntington Beach like three years ago. It'll be really, really nice to go to one. Last time I was at a pool was actually just like a few weeks ago for Anna's bachelorette party. But like, you know what I mean? Like I want to go to a small community pool it's been a while so i am super super excited for this but i need to figure out where goodies is located i realize i never popped in the address i know that it's along this route for both ulta and crumble i just need to figure out where i'm tired of being by myself but it's better for my mental health i do not like it here so why do I care got all the errands done I'm running really early so I guess I'll just do a little quick haul I wasn't supposed to be at Michelle's until 12 30 and it's 11 19 it only take me like 35 minutes to get there so I'll show you guys what I got so from Ulta I mainly went for a refill of my Kula sunless tan this is my daily moisturizer it just like keeps me even with the rest of my body because I try to keep my face out of the sun or at least wear a ton of sunscreen. So it's usually naturally lighter than the rest of my body. So this just kind of like evens it out. It does not have sunscreen in here. So I do wear sunscreen over it, but it is anti-aging, which is nice. And then I am running low on my leave-in conditioner. So I got a new leave-in conditioner to try. This is from Redken. This is the Acidic Perfecting Concentrate Leave-In Conditioner. This one is like specifically for blondes it said online so give this a try i like specifically bleach blondes i'll do the crumble cookies when i get to michelle's we'll show them to you guys together but from goodies i got michelle her chopsticks and then trevor accidentally broke my soy sauce dish a little while back so i got a new one and then i've been wanting to complete our set of dishes from goodies and i asked for these for christmas <laughs> No one got them for me, but 
to be fair, goodies is all the way in LA, although you can order online, so I'll link their website below. But I almost got another breakfast plate. I might go back and get that because we just like, we keep running low on plates really easily. And I also definitely want to get a couple of ramen bowls. But I was thinking, I was like, maybe I'll wait on the ramen bowls until closer to fall. I think that'd be good to have them for fall. Although I'm getting pho tomorrow and it would be nice to have a ramen bowl for that, but it's fine. I'll just, I'll wait. Like it's not that big a deal. But I have been desperately wanting their oatmeal bowls. So I got two of these. I just love the shape on this, how it's like cylindrical. And this is like the perfect size for when I do my little yogurt parfaits. And also obviously for when I do oatmeal. And then also for when I start doing chili, cause I'll probably start doing chili in the next month or so. So I think these bowls are perfect for it. So I got two of them. And now my collection is pretty much complete except for the missing ramen bowls, but I'm very excited. And then Goodies also has new bags. I'm I love these. The ones that I have are those like yellow ones. I use their bags for groceries whenever I get anything from them, but they were like that cheaper fabric that like easily stretches and probably will break if I put too much in it. So I love this tote. It's really cute. But yeah, everything is $25 or less from Goodies and it's all handmade here in Southern California. So I like supporting them and you know, getting our kitchen stuff from them. But I... I'm gonna head over. Okay, I just let Michelle know that I'm running early. I'm like, I horribly mistimed myself, but the opposite direction of what I normally do. But I'm just gonna plug in her address. Do I still have it saved? I know exactly how to get to her place. I just don't know the quickest way onto the freeway from where I'm at right now. So I'm gonna go figure that out. Crumble delivery. <laughs> Oh, all the three, <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even know. Really I think you should just go with this. Let's go. Look. <laughs> There's ready? the cookies. The most disappointing oh week ever though. Honestly though. <sighs> you guys, Michelle and I both hate coconut and like half of the choices were coconut. And it was like the one week that we're like together. I know. To get it. This is huge. That is massive. See, when I first saw it when they were putting the glaze on top in their video, I was uh -huh. like, ugh, pineapple. But I, then when I saw they made it like a upside down pineapple yeah. cake. I do like pineapple, pineapple upside, upside down, down cake. <laughs> so I was like, maybe it'll be good. But yeah. They look good. I'm I'm not gonna dig into mine until after the pool personally. My, yeah. But go like for my, it if you want to. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Yeah. And oh, also here's your chopsticks. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was just checking to see if you wanted the coasters. I oh. the chopsticks I knew for sure. I didn't have the chopsticks, but they had no, the no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, they had the chopsticks. Okay. Yeah. Oh gosh, don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. First outfits on track pants and a sheen crop. Like are you recording? Yes. <laughs> Sneakers, that's my little bag. So cute. I know, it looks so real. The quality is actually I'm pretty good. You, like, if you the, wanna, like the weight yeah. of it is good. I'm telling you, if you want to borrow it for like the first bought it. night, you like, should have bought it. I know, now we're past the point of no return. I think Twice it's because I was so like, I don't It even, took like two weeks to get to me. Like if you did maybe it, today, it today, you might be able to. Maybe I'll do it today. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that bad. I think it was like 60 bucks. Yeah, I saw one that was similar to the other bag that I wanted. Yeah, yeah I know, I sent you. Um, not on that website, but okay. I saw one on Miss Lola, uh -huh. but I didn't like the quality on that one, and then I saw one on Public Desire. Oh, uh, yeah, Public Desire has good dupes. I mean, it was a good dupe. It was just the, like, mirror on it is a different dupe. Yeah. So. Finished outfit number two. We're in the same vibe for once. For once, yeah. I know, we're usually, Dressing. like, dressed complete opposites. My favorite was when I was like all dressed up and you were in a bikini. <laughs> that, that was the you best like, one. Literally in a silk I had like a hat on. I looked so nice, but this is the um, Tiger Mist dress that I'd show you guys. So it's super cute. It's, yeah, it's a tube dress. I love the color on it. The color is really good. I like the like seam at the top. I know, and I also like the, just the material. Like yeah. I said, I had like I was expecting. That's oh, right. Oh. Really good quality. That's great quality. I know. It's like almost it's like neoprene, but not. Yeah. It's like a neoprene jersey blend. Yeah, everything from Lightbox, yeah, was like this type of quality. Yeah. I was very yeah. happy. Very, very happy. Yes, yeah, this, this is me and Michelle right now. There's a breeze. There's a breeze and we're just catching it. <laughs> Man, if I was wearing your dress, I would just disappear. <laughs> I'm so oh my God. white right now. It makes me look so tan. It I mean, I am tan in general. Yeah, no, but you like... are very tan. <laughs> I'm like wearing this. <laughs> <laughs> look at the difference, you guys. That is insane. I think I just made you look tanner. I don't, I don't know that you necessarily made me look whiter, but I think you just went like five shades darker just being next to me. The 
camera had to like adjust. It did. <laughs> Do you want to show our, our vibes? Yeah. Okay. It's my last outfit. What year am I in? You guys, it's like 2005. Wait for the shoes, wait for the shoes. <laughs> I am coastal. Grandmother. <laughs> Michelle's my mom taking me to the party. We're the same colors. We are. But I'm her mother taking her to her first party. <laughs> look at, oh my god, look at, like, I'm in your eyeline now. I think we're saying we're the same back then. Like, no, no, sir. No, no, I'm in your eyeline. <laughs> Not delusional. Okay, I can't even get it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I look like you're trying. Yeah. And I'm like, where are we going? We just finished shooting, got Jamba Juice. We were totally craving it. Mm -hmm. It's hot in the Inland Empire. Y'all, it's hot. I'm like, maybe we should have gone to the beach today. I know. <laughs> we almost did the beach because we weren't sure if we could get into a pool. But I'm like, I am happy out of the pool because like, I just There's don't no have to sand. do sand. Yeah. I mean, I don't hate sand, totally. but like. But it's like, a th it's like a process. Yeah. Yeah. And that like, I have to gather. God, people suck at driving today. But like, you have to gather up your beach bag. You have to drive to the beach and all that. Like a pool, a community pool is easy. You and just, it's a Saturday. Yeah. So I feel like everyone's at the beach. I hope so. I hope the pool is like gonna be empty. I really hope just everybody in Chino just went out to yeah. Orange County. I really just hope that they were like, come on over to my neck of the woods. I wonder <laughs> if like they're just like, you know what? The pool's been crowded. It's the OC go. Fair. Maybe they're. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Exactly. But I got a strawberry surf rider. Michelle got a peach perfection. Something. Peach perfection. It's so good. And then we both got the sourdough parmesan. Mm -hmm pretzels they're so good i did not mean to take the whole thing out it's really good i feel like there would be more parmesan there we go okay. cheers to a pool day to the fair bride <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to get some sun maybe, maybe she gets some to yeah. the sun uh, yeah of course it's a little crowded here but it's fine <laughs> i just need to have someone right beside me or else i'm nothing but for me i'd rather be alone than with some people photos Sarah took of me. <laughs> <laughs> you need to send me the You guys. Uh, Michelle's had two drinks. Oh my god. And she's acting like she's <laughs> literally like, I'm the biggest so lightweight. Drunk. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> I was telling her I'm like I should have vlogged be... today. You should have vlogged today. Oh. She's had so many vlogs go up. I'm not in any of them by the way and like the one weekend we're together. <laughs> she, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, Michelle, don't vlog. You have other videos that you should be posting. I mean, you do have other videos. I do have other videos that I should be posting. I was like, you should be posting those. <laughs> but she was talking about like in Cabo. I was like, what's gonna happen? I thought it was gonna be the wildest, but Michelle's gonna have one shot for every six of mine. And I'm gonna be taking care of I'm gonna be her. like, <laughs> I'm Hispanic, by the way. <laughs> she is. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Just in case anybody was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we promise. I promise I'm Hispanic. <laughs> It doesn't look like it because I'm especially next to Sarah. You know, when you get your new last name, it'll make more sense. It'll make more sense. I know, nice to meet you. <laughs> oh. Michelle's been trying to dance this whole time. I've been out here this whole time. Oh, oh no, that was painful. <laughs> <laughs> Just for talking to ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I try to take pictures. Like, Rachel, I don't even know her, how to pronounce her last name. Henri. Henri? Autenry. Autenry. Yeah. We both, we both enjoy Rachel's vlogs, and she always takes like the best. Like she's so simple bikini photos, bikini yeah. photos, and I was like, it makes me look like Rachel. And then when I looked at the photos, I was like, I don't know what made me think I ever could. <laughs> well, like the thing is, like Rachel is like fit and like she's skinny though. She's not like muscular, but she's skinny and, yeah. and stuff. So Michelle was like, make me look like Rachel. I was like, I gave you a workout plan. I did what I could. <laughs> There's only so much I can do, Sarah. I'm like, I already tried. <laughs> I was like, I saw the pictures and I was like, who is that? <laughs> Is that, is that me? She was like, I was like, oh, maybe I'll send you one of them. I was like, she was like, like tipsy and half of them, and she's like, why well, don't I just do this? So I was all like, I was like, sure. Someone needs to take my phone away in Cabo. I'm like, no, no, you should have your phone in Cabo. Give it to someone who can take video and photo for you. Because you? you want, yeah. Or my sister. Yeah, either of us. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I, I have the you're double right, device right. all the time. It's fine. Yeah. No, you'll want that. 
Even if it's just for you. Yeah. Even if it's, just, even if it's just to show Nate. <laughs> you know what? Kayla has a video when mm -hmm. we went to Cabo last time. There's like her and I are both sitting on big like chairs to lay out and her friend is recording her and she's like taking a shot of tequila in Cabo mm -hmm. and I'm behind her totally drunk and I'm like this. <laughs> just like doing a thumbs up. And we like rewatch the video because it's from like 2018. Yeah. I was like, is that me? My hair is like this short and I'm like, yeah, your hair was I'm really literally short. laying to the side and I'm like, just I just like up. need a video of you like stuffing your face with tacos to, yes. <laughs> to tell Nate to like make a TikTok saying like worried about your your fiance on her bachelorette trip. This is mine. I'm in the jacuzzi. <laughs> tacos. Tacos. <laughs> Buy the bride a taco. Yeah, you guys, we're going to do a QR code for Michelle's bachelorette. Buy me a taco. Yeah, you can buy her Not a, a drink. But I only need two. <laughs> <laughs> She'll die if she has too many drinks. Can you imagine? Oh my god. Um, but yeah, buy her taco. And yeah, even though we're going to an all inclusive. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> we still got a tip though, to be fair. That is true. We have to tip. Absolutely. Buy Michelle's taco tip. Are we recording? We are recording. Okay. <laughs> it would have turned off by now. <laughs> there are so many kids in here earlier. I know. Like my ovaries Screaming. disappeared into my stomach. I don't even have any. Like anymore. they were <laughs> gone. They've disintegrated. Gone. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> like they were literally like high pitched screaming, and we were yeah. all like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> my mom would hit me if I ever yelled. I'm telling you, like her shoe would come out of nowhere. <laughs> like sandals. She didn't even bring shoes. Yeah, <laughs> she, found she it grabbed someone else's shoe. Oh, well. Yeah, I was telling Michelle. Like, my deal is gonna be like, if you hurt my ears once, you're gone. We're, we're going home. You're with your dad. Yeah. Trevor. Yeah. <laughs> no, Trevor, take them home. Trevor. Mom's still tanning. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Who's still doing these? Trevor's like, ours. <laughs> in my ear hurts. They need to go. <laughs> Gone so I can tan in peace. You need to go home with your father. <laughs> leave the dog. <laughs> right, leave the dog. Leave the dog. He's white anyways. He can't. <laughs> well, yeah. he can't tan actually. Because he's Sicilian. So. Who? Trevor. Oh, I think you're talking about Sperky. I was like, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, my dog, I said, leave the dog. My like, dog can't tan. I was like, he is? <laughs> You're like, I thought he was I was like, American what? bulldog. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like Trevor. Michelle's had two drinks. <laughs> Literally, I haven't even finished the second one. You guys are sitting on <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, That's why I was We're like. We're trying to slow her down. <laughs> Listen, my bridesmaids will be saving money. <laughs> no one has to buy me any drinks. It's all, all inclusive. For That's right, see? <laughs> Never mind. Actually, we are going out yeah. at least once, maybe twice. So yeah, buy her a taco yeah. or a drink for when yeah. we go out. But for the most part, we're we're all inclusive. We're in our thirties. We can't go out twice. <laughs> Kayla's like, I think I'm gonna make the going out night the last night, or we'll never make it. <laughs> like she's like, I don't want us to miss anything else. She's like, I feel like if we go out the first night, God, then that's like we'll like miss. my sluttiest outfit. I I have to walk around downtown Cabo because <laughs> this outfit is literally it's like so a lace cute. dress with like. It covers, and then I have underwear on. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna do. It's really underwear. cute though. Yeah. Just don't wear I know, but it's like white, and I'm tall, so I'm worried about like other people. How short is this skirt? Pretty short. Mm. I can show it to you. Okay. Yeah. Plus that's true. Yeah. Am I should we get pizza? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get pizza later. <laughs> or right. something. This wind is making me very nervous about you guys. So just a preview of Michelle and Cabo. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> We got back from the pool, changed the comfies, and you guys, we got pizza. There she comes. Oh, well, you can only see the hallway. There she is. Pizza. I'm very excited. Because once we have our pizza, then we can have our cookies. <gasps> oh my God, we got tomatoes and garlic and pesto. <laughs> Shit, that looks so good. It looks really good. Very excited. Let's okay. just do like a pizza slice. Yeah, that's fine. So you guys, I can't remember if I told you what we got, but like I had mentioned, this is like the worst week of crumble cookies for Michelle and I because we don't like coconut and half of it's coconut, but chocolate toffee, pineapple upside down, and then I just got a standard chocolate chip so that we could round out the pack of four, but we're tasting. <sighs> Give us the first, okay. first reaction. I like that salted. Getting notes of toffee. <laughs> it's okay. Aww. Womp womp. Like, maybe I didn't get enough toffee. Maybe. It just... It's probably not like evenly distributed. Mm -mm. 
There was more toffee in there. Oh, okay. Mm, that was better. Mm, I got toffee. Yeah, I think it was toffee my first bite. Mm. Yeah, that was better with the toffee. It's like an elevated chocolate chip. 100%. No. Mm. That bite good. was better. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. This pizza, by the way, was bomb. Mm -hmm. So good. We inhaled it. Yeah. We were gonna take like a sweet detour and then come back to another slice. Should I try my other one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna try the chocolate chip. We know. It's a chocolate chip. And it's so close to this. This is like a cake. That is. <laughs> I'm not gonna get the cherry. It's like a fucking mountain. I don't have high hopes. <laughs> Way to go and do it. <laughs> Let us know. Oh, it smells really good. Mm, it's pineapple. Oh. <laughs> Did the whole pineapple? Good. Well, I got mostly pineapple, so the pineapple's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude. Mmm. Mm good. I like that better than the other one. Fair enough. I just don't like cooked pineapple. That's why I don't want that one. I've just never been a fan. Like, I'm not a mm. pineapple upside down cake. Like, I love fresh pineapple, but cooked. It's, mm. it's a no for me. I, I like this one better than the other one. I'm surprised. I didn't have high hopes for this one at all. Yeah. I had like a chocolate chip toffee cookie on like the first cruise I ever went on. It was like one of the best things I've ever had. Mm. So I like the concept of this. I thought it was good. But, but I, Not I, I had high hopes because it had a lot to live up to mm -hmm. from the cookie I had on the cruise. Like it's good. It's not. I'm not mad at it. it best week and we're just not no. coconut lovers i think if you're a coconut lover this week probably would have been great for yeah because i saw people commenting who like love coconut and they're like oh my god everything was so good but and i was not, like i would rather die not for us I should have <laughs> my tripod. tomorrow is new flavors though i know so watch it be like the best week ever i swear <laughs> well if i'm gonna see you saturday oh that's right yes i might i'm yeah. probably gonna go we might do another pool day <laughs> <laughs> Let's start there. I was flirting and I was like, what are you doing next week? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to come with her and her mom and her sister to do wedding stuff. Yeah. It's probably, probably be good that you're there actually. <laughs> <laughs> like super helpful. <laughs> glad to, glad to be a helping hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we were like, my parents just redid their pool. Mm -hmm. It's so, so nice. So I was like, oh, I was like, we can lay out there yeah. too. Yeah. 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 And I can just grab. <laughs> yeah. Come on over. There we go. I hope it's a good week. Yeah. Or I, I can so. grab some because it's also my way too. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. Whatever. We'll it's make good. we'll make crumble happen. Yeah. <laughs> I might spend the night at my mom's. Perfect. Yeah. My mom's driving. And then you'll be like really relaxed. Mm -hmm. And I'll just come over. Yeah. We can lay out or we can do weddings up then lay out. Whatever. Yeah. I, I need to plan out what we're actually doing. Yeah. So if it takes too long, I don't know. Yeah. So here's the photos I took of Michelle in the pool. <laughs> After her two was like, six, Sarah, six. make me look like Rachel. <laughs> like I said, I, I gave you an exercise <laughs> And then I was like, should I lay down? <laughs> <laughs> these are the ones. Post these. <laughs> That's them. Me, did you get it? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Been back home for a little bit, and you guys, look at this. Oh my... Point of finger, I have a ring tan from today. From one whole day, a freaking ring tan. So that's there now. <laughs> uh, it's fun being able to tan very easily. <laughs> Honestly though, there's like plus and minuses to like both. I mean that, if I go to the beach once, that'll be gone. I just need to remember to not wear a ring. But I'm just gonna finish up the rest of this leftover pizza. This pizza was so good. She got it from Woodstone Pizzeria. So if you are towards the Inland Empire area, check out this pizza. It's so good. But Spart and I are just chilling and putting together um mm, okay. I'm putting together a list for Costco. Sorry, you guys are on the paper towels. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. I'm gonna do a little Costco run tomorrow. We are running low on so many things and we definitely need refills. So that is the plan for tomorrow. But for tonight I'm just chilling. I'm watching the office i'm like back on the office because for anyone who has peacock and doesn't know they do these things called super fan episodes where they insert the deleted scenes into the episodes and they dropped season five i don't even know when i just like logged on one day i was like oh my god they have season five so it's like kind of fun to see what the episode was originally supposed to be before it was edited down so that's basically all i'm doing for the rest of the night but 
Like I said, tomorrow we're going to Costco. Do you want some crust? There you go. Sorry for leaving you all day. Is that so? Hard to ask for. I just want something that's real.